All right. So let's do the scanning. Whoa. The horse? What district? Moss. Bradbury Landing near the Green Bend. Then lost. Not a fit. Good you got out before screwing up then. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Here's Liam. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently, we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Okay, got that one scanned. They did it again, man. Oh, it's just saying right here. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Okay. Oh. So it's going through the wall? On the other side. Okay. up here looks like I lost it looks like it stops right there but there's nothing there so let's go hold on hold on it's still telling me to go down here let me find out why um I guess it's just a reference in case I forget where it is. Go over here and scan this one. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Okay. Up here, okay. This panel right here by this lady. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Let me go back there. Oh, 
Oh, aha, here we go. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Uh oh. Okay, where do I need to go for this shit? I need to go down. It's pointing down. I'm so fucking confused right now. I need to go through here. Okay. I need to get back to the Hyperion, right? Cora, let's go. We got a problem. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? She understands the stakes. If I fail, we... You won't. Let's hope not. You won't. That's the end of it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Oh yeah, that too, huh? We need to stop this individual from sabotaging our ship. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni tool. Uh oh. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So, unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, what if they s Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. So what if they set me up now? Because I'm on to them too. Do I have to get back on that thing and go fucking back there? Yeah. Okay. Security cams right here. 
Let's check it out. Okay. This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Is there anything on here? Okay. This guy? This person is not a match. Okay. This dude? Biometrics do not match. So now I got to go all the way back to the Hyperion, right? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I get to the bottom of this. What are you doing? This person is not a match. Here we go. What are you doing? Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Hi, Who Dale. Dale Atkins reports to Kandros' department, assigned to station security. What you doing, Dale? Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. We know what you've been up to. You're done here. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just doing my job. That's all. Proof says you've been up to no good. Vigors. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened. But setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision. That'll be the day. So he's just gonna walk away.
Where did he go? He just left. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. What are we doing now? We still got the first murder to deal with. Got the missing arcs. Does that point to anything here? No, nothing. Um, hold on. Priority ops. Let's go talk to Sam. It sounds like he's got something to say. It might be interesting. Going in here. All right. Whoa. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec mm -hmm. profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. Oh, You're shit. AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. How do human experiences affect a computer? This was a question your father often pondered. I am intended to be the answer. Sounds like we both are. What does this mean for us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Okay. I see, I see. Soldier. Okay. Oh, I need to scan something? What do I need to scan? Oh, I'm not close to it yet. All right. I'm going to go to Father's Quarters. Um, but first... Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Okay. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Oh. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Right.
Okay. Sam? I... What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Halik tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Okay. Once again, if you guys are hearing something in the background, that's little Mr. Marty, little two-year-old Mr. Marty. He's hanging out, having a good time. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal locks. Several of them are encrypted. Okay. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Oh, the Arch Sony. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. I think it's interesting that I've, I've been playing this game for this long now, and there hasn't been one mention uh, of the Reapers at all. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I keep forgetting about the sister. You gotta Unlock go do that. Currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay, what else we got? They're all encrypted. Okay. Oops. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge oh, the that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. The Normandy!
What do I do with it? Do I keep it? What is this? Oh. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Oh, another audio. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living but... Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. But the Reapers enslaved the Protheans. I'm confused a little bit. <laughs> the coffee machine modeled. Oh, the okay. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. Then I see, there it is. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Mass Effect Relays. Um... The game was called Mass Effect, but they were just called Mass Relays. I don't... I, I remember the actual term Mass Effect being referenced at the absolute... At, at the beginning of the first game of Mass Effect. But that it, it had nothing to do with the Relays. I never... I don't... I never heard them called Mass Effect Relays in, in the original trilogy. I, I might be wrong there, but I think that might be a fuck up. Okay, the, the fucking sister. Um, uh, search for speak with Sam. So is there more? Oh, wait, let me look at that again. All right, let's go. Let's go back in here and do this. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't know how well you guys can can hear him in the background. But if it's really loud, I apologize for that. Like I said, he's two year old little Marty. He's over there. He's playing. Um, you might not hear him at all, and if you do, then this is probably really weird. But if you do hear him, I'm sorry for that. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories, which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. 
But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. That's right, I forgot. Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, what the fuck does that mean? I forgot about uh, that. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. It's how dad was wired. He didn't like to lose in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. Because of After the guess. Dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Oh, good. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Yeah, I forgot about. I forgot that AI was illegal in the the Mass Effect universe because of the uh, the uh, fucking the Quarians uh, and the Geth. <laughs> I take it you're based here in Samno? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated adaptive matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. No shit. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That, that pisses me off when they do that. Um, if you know, if you're a stupid person, then that's your fucking problem. But and they and it's not just games; they do that, you know, movies and, and other things too, where they have to explain really easy shit to you. 
You know, in case you are an idiot. That's all for now. Of course. All right. So, do I get to go see my sister yet? Where... I guess, a uh, map. Oh, there's no fucking map? It's in the journal? Uh, no. The profiles. Oh, here we go. Habitation deck. Um, let's see. Let's change floors. Um, that's it. The tram station. Um, station. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't need a waypoint. I'm good. Tempest. Okay. Pathfinder, it's good to see you. Word is there's been trouble on the station. We just got here. How did you know that already? Word gets around. Does it now? People talk to me? Anyway, as soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindwar colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. Oh. I have some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? All right, that was a nice chat. See you later. Take care. I don't know why. I guess that'll come back later, maybe. The purpose for talking to her. There's the captain. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex's quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Um, there's been a lot of dialogue so far, but now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? I like to be thorough. Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists, but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster even five years ago, are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? 
I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? All right. Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. All right. Should I go to <laughs> where I'm supposed to go? To the priority mission. Let's see. Go back and do that stuff. I gotta do that. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up right here for another time. Peace out.